How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how I make my stuffed poblanos. What I got here is just three normal sized poblano peppers. Just give them a quick spray with Pam and just kind of roll them around in it to kind of spread it around. Just helps them keep from not sticking. Also helps them blister to make it easier to get the skin off of them. I really like the stuffed poblanos. Basically each one's about three grams of carbs and one gram of protein. So really low carb, great to fit those macros. So now that I got them all coated with the Pam, basically I preheated my oven for 400 degrees for a bake cycle. Just gonna go ahead and toss them in there. They're gonna go in for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so while those are cooking, I've gone ahead and cooked up some chicken here. This is about eight ounces that I used a little bit of a pollo asado uh, kind of a seasoning on. You can use any kind of seasoning you want. Okay, now the peppers just finished here. Throw on the oven glove and pull them out. So as you can see, they've changed colors. They got some nice blistering to them. What I'm going to do is throw them in a glass bowl and kind of cover them with some saran wrap here. Basically what this does kind of helps them steam, plus they're really hot right now, so it allows them to really kind of cool off so that you can actually handle them to peel the skin off of. I usually let them sit maybe five to ten minutes under the saran wrap just to let them really cool down. Okay, now that they've cooled down a bit, I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the bowl here and we're going to remove the skin. This one I had a little bit of trouble trying to remove the stem which you'll see as I'm trying to peel the skin off of them. So normally what I do is I rip the stem out as well. It helps get the seeds out. So what we're really gonna do here is I'm just grabbing a small spoon. I'm gonna kind of scrape the outside lightly to kind of rip the blisters. You'll see it's just gonna come right off here. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up a little bit because it can be a little bit time consuming. So even though this can be a little time consuming, that's why I'm fast forwarding through it, it's really worth it because this is actually one of my favorite meals I've had lately. I've been craving Mexican, so definitely helped reduce that craving. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is you'll see I'll go ahead and grab a knife and I'll slice it about halfway from the stem all the way to the other end. And that just lets me get in with the spoon and get all the little seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these peppers. As you can see, all the seeds are pretty much removed here. Just getting that last little bit out. Like I said, it's easier if you pop the stem. That helps get the seeds out with it. I just didn't want to fight with this one while it was still a little bit hot. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and hit the other ones, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Got the rest of the peppers all cleaned out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and... Fill them up with some of that chicken that we cooked up a little earlier. And again, fast forward this a little bit, save some time. So one thing I like to do is try to at least get it somewhat evenly spread out across the three peppers. Um, doesn't always work that way. You end up with one that's always going to be quite a bit bigger than the rest. But do what you can. And you can stuff it with whatever you want. It doesn't have to be chicken. I've done it with tilapia. Uh, probably going to do it with some cod here in the next couple of days. Um, you can mix stuff in with it as well. Probably going to do some vegetables with the cod. So, all right. Just getting that last little bit of filling in there. Like I said, you can see this one on the end here is overstuffed compared to the other ones. But, hey, work with it the way you can. Okay. Now that we got that done, Go ahead and plop it on the scale. I'm going to cover these things in some cheese. So 
So what I got here guys is some Weight Watchers uh, reduced fat Mexican cheese. You can use whatever you want. Just try to get one that's going to melt. Problem with the fat free cheese is they don't really melt very well. So I like to go with a little something with a little bit of fat. Plus it helped me hit my fat macros for the day. So just doing probably about 28 grams I believe was on this one. So had to do a quick sprinkling on the outside. Okay, the other thing I'm going to put on top of this is going to be a little bit of jalapeno peppers. So, add a little bit of heat to it. Again, optional. You can do it if you want. It's just, I like things spicy, so I'm going to go ahead and top a little bit of that on top. Okay, last thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and pop open the microwave. Really just going to throw it in for maybe a minute. All I'm doing here is just melting the cheese onto the outside. Also the chicken was sitting there while I was also kind of taking the skin off the pepper, so warming that back up. Alright, done in the microwave. Here it is guys. Stuffed poblanos with some jalapenos on the outside, some chicken on the inside. It's ready to GAF. Thanks guys for checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.